Hank. Hey, Colin. Hey, did you write your thank you note yet to the Brown interviewer? No, actually, that's something I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, well, you came to the right person, because I am master of the thank you note. Oh. Listen to this. Thank you so much for the resplendent interview. Resplendent? Yes. I bought a thesaurus. Shelly loves SAT words. Hey, I didn't know you two were on a first-name basis. Oh, yeah, we totally power bonded, which means I may actually have a chance of getting into Brown. Do you know what that means? No calling, no texting, no emailing, just us together. Isn't that great? Okay, so tell me, how did your interview really go? Do you think you aced it? I knocked it out of the park. Really? Yeah, yeah, and it wasn't easy, believe me. But, you know, I turned on the Cohen charm, as usual, <laughs> and the lady swooned. Cohen? Yeah? Shelly's a guy. Is it because, yes, yes, you're, I'm sorry, correct. But with the feminine energy, I don't know, I got a gay vibe. I'm gender blind, that's the thing. And that's something that I'm gonna have to work on at Brown next year when we go together. When we go together. Okay, I'm gonna see you later, I gotta go. Cohen? We'll talk after school. I just got off the phone with Mr. Spivey from Brown. Looks like you've got a fan. Oh, great. You know, I was actually just curious. Did he mention how it went with Seth? Seth Cohen? Yeah, you know, gangly, mop head, barely has an F. Right. Um, unfortunately, Seth missed his interview. What? He was a no-show. He was just in here explaining the situation, something about a tractor-trailer accident. Oh, my God, that little bitch. Excuse me? I'm sorry. Thank you for your help. 